here. The folks are fucking chilling like like a damn villain here on the penthouse sweet balcony folks overlooking the beautiful Times Square nestled up to the mountains of Subic Bay if you can see that that mountain from that beautiful sunshine coming in but let me give you a look around the patio fight your mind's got the, the laundry done today and this is the washing machine and sometimes this is the washing machine but this is Forrest G's Filipino hot tub he chills in this actually sometimes he chills in this bucket here but she washes uh, clothes in these two uh, apparatus hangs it up here folks ecologically friendly and she's even washing his uh, a damn penguin and that uh, floor from the from the playpen folks and you know she washed she wash my, my Arcteryx Breeze backpack since I was down uh, down in uh, Manila so she washed this up for me folks I certainly appreciate Fatima mind doing all that for me it's out here drying in the sun and I figured I'd do just a quick review of this backpack a couple people asked me about it and I did a thorough review when I first got it shit let me turn down the kid rock so you can hear me folks fucking rocking out to the prodigal sun fucking rocking it turn that down a little bit yeah so uh damn i don't know if i can get that turned down which might not be a bad thing a kid rock bitch and i'm everywhere all right so i'm drinking uh i'm drinking uh what the fuck am i drinking i think it's an imperador and coke because my dumb ass did not get to the liquor store in time to stock up on jack daniels and jim bean that's all right at least i got something to drink my friends i know there's folks out there that ain't got no liquor right now rumors are swirling about some type of alcohol ban i don't even know but let me give you a look around Times square folks we got hot cakes we got chicken and fish over there i got transportation i got vegetables over there and a the restaurant is as open i think they're just hiding from the sun but folks Times square Times Square is still operating and you can't stop progress. You can't stop people from fucking eating. You can't stop progress. You can't stop everyday life. You can try to hold us down. And look, I've had a few beers. I'm just talking out my ass for entertainment. But I said, you know, it's such a beautiful day and I'm <coughs> sitting here chilling out on this balcony. I just had to show you a slice of what we've been up to today you know and you know we're not letting Forrest G go out in the streets whatever go hang out that's fine he's been outside you know several hours a day multiple times chilling in his hot tub running around he's got plenty of outdoor time uh, got some sun on him because folks when, when that little baby was born he was brown I mean he came out looking straight like he was browner than me because a lot of times I'm more brown than uh, than the old lady, Fatima. And, you know, if you look at my ass, it's white as a sheet. It's just because I stay in the sun and I always have since I was a kid. But when he popped out, he was brown. And my little girl was white. And then they flip-flopped to where this dude is white as a sheet. And every time I look at him, I'm like, man, Force G, you got to get some sun. So I throw him out here in the sun and he's still... Uh, you know he's he's like Casper the damn ghost but I did notice today on his little arms he's starting to get a little brown you know so anyhow he's been hanging out in the sun swimming over there in the Filipino hot tub and chilling over here this I guess if, if it was sports that would be like the ice bath but uh, he's fucking chilling like a villain he's good but he was out here so long he was out here so long in the sun we said he'll send him in there in the playroom cut the air con on just a little bit cool that dude down but i'm sitting here rocking out to some kid rock posted that video this morning the uh the premiere of how to wipe your ass without toilet paper during a pandemic and it was a just a i mean 
a success and I want to thank everybody who joined me during that that video that premiere everybody who joined in the conversation the comments because it's a serious fucking subject people are googling this shit they're bickering and arguing and fighting over fucking toilet paper look everybody's going through hard times right now there's no there's no reason to go fight over provisions not at this point not at this point in the game this is very early in this game this is not the fucking zombie apocalypse this is not fucking ebola this is you know sort of similar to the flu we never you know we we don't have any antibodies to it nobody's immune to this shit there's no immunization so it's a little bit scary to folks but goddamn folks just compare it to the flu and other viruses that we live with on a daily basis now we have to add one to the fucking list um so there's no reason to fucking kill each other over kill each other over the last uh pack of toilet paper or i read that in canada like like there was this list of what people in different countries are hoarding so I think in Canada, you guys are hoarding maple syrup. In Amsterdam, you guys made a run on the fucking uh, coffee shops to buy weed. So they're hoarding weed. That's, there was one more. Oh, in Russia, they're hoarding buckwheat. Ah, folks, you know, I just don't, I don't think we're at that point. And I know you gotta be prepared, I got it. But this is not the zombie fucking apocalypse. This is not Ebola. This is a virus that, that unfortunately is going to affect predominantly older people or people with uh, compromised immune systems, much like the rest of these viruses that we deal with. It's here to stay, it's a part of life. Even the flu vaccine, folks, the goddamn influenza, which has been here for how long? I don't even fucking know. But I just looked at the CDC's website and did you know that the flu shot, which everybody tells you to get every year, every year, right? What do they say? Get a flu shot. 40 to 60% effective rate. So let's split it down the middle. It's a 50-50 fucking uh, success rate that is gonna prevent you from getting the flu. And we live with this deadly virus every year so when you get a flu shot flip a coin it's 50 50 motherfucker if you're gonna get the flu or you're not gonna get the flu now it's not 50 50 if you die it's 50 50 if you're gonna fucking get it that's the way it is you know for all my friends out there over 60 you know i was talking to my dad and my mother today they're both over 60 you know i told my mother i said you better fucking stay home stop your goddamn walmart shopping trips but then I said, you know what? You're the captain of your own destiny. You know the rules, you know the risks. If you wanna go fucking to Walmart every day, go ahead. But realize you're in that risk category that if you get it, it's gonna be fatal. As long as you know the risk, it's your life. Do what you, do what you wanna do. Do whatever you're gonna do, it's your life. And that's just the way it is. So anyhow, a big success to that I think that video had a big success this morning. Had 350 people at some point watching that video concurrently. Maybe that breaks one of my personal records. And folks, I'm not on this huge YouTube channel. I don't have 8.5 million followers, right? I got right at 21,000 dedicated hardcore fucking soldiers. And I'll take that over 8.5 million fucking fake friends any day. But in the YouTube world, I'm not considered a big fucking channel. So to have 350 people watching that video at one time, I guess you have to kind of look at it like if you put 350 people in an audience somewhere at some type of uh, venue, that's a lot of folks. And so I appreciate everybody joining me on that. I hope everybody learned something and I try to present it in a comical manner. But after doing that, I just been chilling with the family all day, working on the computer a little bit, trying to stay busy, trying to uh, trying to enjoy the day. Mouth and top, fucking Kid Rock. 
You know what? Shout out to Kid Rock, man. I'm putting that link to Tennessee Mountaintop. I think I'm going to put it in every one of my future videos. If you haven't seen that video, it's not new. But, you know, the video's got this uh, stuffed raccoon that goes out to Hollywood, has a rough time, and then goes home. What a, gr what a great fucking video. We should nominate that video as a short film of the fucking Decade Award. So, shout out to Kid Rock and whoever wrote, directed, produced, wrote the script, whatever, wrote the song, Tennessee Mountaintop. Fuck, I love it. So folks, again, I'm just sitting here chilling. Oh shit, Force G left the toy and it's about cut into my foot. So I'm just gonna sit out here, I'm gonna smoke me a motherfucking cigar. I'm gonna smoke me a cigar. I'm gonna drink a couple more drinks and you know during this lockdown if you didn't watch any of my other videos I know I need to stop saying that but some people just tune in okay today is Wednesday which means midnight Saturday so that was Sunday that's when the Metro Manila lockdown went into place which was a soft lockdown so I guess Sunday was day one of that lockdown. And then Monday they decided it wasn't enough. So I think Tuesday is when the entire Luzon, the enhanced community quarantine went down. And then I'm here in Subic Town. I'm right off of Subic Bay right here nestled up to these little mountains. It's beautiful. We got a Subic quarantine. So I'm supposed to self quarantine, no, mandatory self quarantine in your house for 14 days. That's on top of the Luzon lockdown slash enhanced community quarantine, which is on top of the fact that the entire country is under a state of calamity for six months. And I don't even know what the fuck that means. But if you can see behind me, folks, it's not all doom and gloom. It's, it's life as usual. Yes, there's less people on the streets, but Times Square still has to serve food. People still have to eat. They still have to get their vegetables. There's transportation available in the form of tricycles. Now I've heard all the buses have been shut down and the, and the jeepneys. I don't know. But after I get done talking to this camera and this backpack gets uh, gets finished drying out, I'm fixing to ruck up and I'm going for a walk because you are allowed to uh, you know, leave your self-quarantine to get food and provisions and i'm going to exercise my right to do so with this backpack and the provisions that i'm looking for is uh some fresh vegetables um maybe some uh some chicken from uh fresh options market and some jack daniels and some jim bean because that those items are part of my necessary provisions shout out to arc terrace terex because this is what's called a 32 liter breeze backpack hopefully you can see that and damn hank williams folks are gonna ding me for this video that i didn't need them got that fucking bose weather resistant weather resistant uh bluetooth speaker and it fucking bumps folks i know bose is expensive you know why because it's fucking worth it but this ain't gonna be a full review, but somebody on a comment, I saw it fly by, asked me about this backpack. And I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Which I'm always honest with you. This backpack is great as far as you've never worn a more comfortable backpack, number one. It carries a load very evenly on your back and it's slim. It's long and it's slim. So what this means is this motherfucker will sit, will fit in the overhead bin of an aircraft or a bus very easily because it's slim. Okay, now you got two pockets on the side. You got one little zippered pocket right here. There's a zippered pocket in the in what they call the brain, whatever. And you got a pocket on this side. Other than that, inside this thing, it's just a trekking pack, right? It's just, it's just open. And you cinch this down, there's no zippers. All right. The pros of this thing is, if you're carrying a load in adventure mode from point A to point B, you cannot beat this backpack, okay? With that said, 
you know as far as traveling carrying it stowing it on conveyances this thing is great trekking up a mountain it's great but without the zippered pockets that you have on a on a regular backpack it's not convenient to get in and out of you know so my other backpacks it's got zippers you can get in and out put your laptop out put it back in this thing is designed to load all of your fucking gear in here right load all of your gear in here and take this guy right here and pull it and cinch it down lock that in lock those two in and keep that son of a bitch closed for the next 15 miles the next 20 miles or the fucking climb up that ridge and when you get to where you're going then you sit down and open this guy up dump everything out which i keep all my shit in waterproof bags when i'm rolling with this you dump out your three or four waterproof bags and then you go to work but if you're looking for a travel backpack that you're gonna you know this is not a laptop bag it sucks you put your laptop in there pull that thing snap it snap it it is not conducive to pulling your laptop in and out so if you're that type of person that you want to access your your shit commonly other than this little pouch and the zippered couch up here small items this backpack's not for you but this backpack here is designed to be packed up and carry this motherfucker through long distances or long adventures and then when you get where you're going you dump everything out if that makes sense i hope i i describe that okay so if i was gonna choose well you know we're talking the zombie apocalypse right now if i was gonna choose a bug out bag where you know i was gonna fucking walk a half a mile and then fucking access it and check shit and blah 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 and then i walk another half mile i would not choose this bag you know get you a military style backpack with the zippers where you can have easy access to to your gear but if i was gonna bug out during a zombie apocalypse where i needed to get my ass 20 fucking miles away from where i'm at in rapid fashion you know where i threw this bag on grab my fucking rifle and fucking haul 20 miles hell yeah that's what i'd be wearing right there and that's why i got it but if you're going to be tinkering with your gear constantly you know pulling your knife and your fucking rope and uh, all your survival shit and your signaling mirror your whistle and all this shit coming out this this ain't the bag for you but if you're the type of dude that's gonna you know secure all your shit and focus on getting from point A to point B in a fast, efficient manner with a comfortable fucking bag that you don't gotta worry about. That's why I got that. So if I if I had to do a 20, 30, 35 mile road march right now, this, this is what I would wanna wear. It's just so fucking comfortable. And it's the right size. If you get anything over 32 liters of backpack that's going to allow you to put more than 32 liters worth of gear in there then it's going to be too heavy and then you're doing what i call back hurting you're not fucking backpacking you're back hurting that's why 32 is a sweet number you can pack this thing chock full and it, it can get too heavy especially if you put a bottle of fucking wine in there like i have before uh but it limits you to to not putting too much shit where you're not mobile but anyhow, folks, there's a quick review, and it, and it's, it fuck this thing's gonna last, folks. It's gonna last, uh, 100%. All right, so anyhow, that was a quick, quick, impromptu review on the Breeze 32 liter. Uh, I don't know if they call it hiking pack or trekking pack. You know what? been using that as a damn uh, cooling rag not as reusable toilet paper all right like I said I don't fucking use toilet paper I use soap water and hands motherfuckers yeah so I'm gonna let the Sun go down a little bit I'm not sure if we're under a curfew or not I think there's a cur curfew from 8 p.m. To, to 5 a.m. I'm gonna push out about 5 because I want to be out and about by 6 Cause you know some of the bars uh, around they open at six whatever so i want to be on the streets from six to seven 
do a video, see what's going on around Barrio Barreto. This is where I live. I need to find out what's going on. And so I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to do a fact-finding mission while I walk to Bismarck and buy uh, groceries. And I'm also going to be fucking looking for Jack Daniels and Jim Bean. All right, folks. I want to thank everybody for joining me. And Fatima is begging me to go down here and get a hot cake from this lady. Makes delicious hot cakes, little pancakes. And I may do that. Shout out to you, Fatima. You're, you're, you're the best wife number one I've ever had, baby. All right, folks. Uh, if, if I conclude this video, I hope I at least entertain you. If I include this in the other footage, well, then I'm about to take you on a ride. But if not, stay tuned for the walking tour of Barrio Barreto. And this is day, I gotta get my days straight. See, Monday will be day two of the Manila lockdown. But I think today is day two of the Luzon lockdown. Wednesday, my friends. All right, well, if I don't take you on the walking tour, I wanna say peace out bottom right hand corner of your screen subscribe to my channel food beer beasts bad behavior barbecue and music good jokey karaoke anything i want to do hit that bell because there's no production schedule it'll let you know when i post a video see you on the next one peace out